Phil, good to see you, buddy. Yeah, man. Good to see you. Appreciate you having me, man. Amy, I saw Philip. And I, I, and I guess I don't really know Philip. We spent a day together playing pickleball, but I didn't know him before that. Mm. We hadn't met, right? You didn't come up on Idol when met. I was no, working no, on it, right? No, I don't think we had met. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was before. before okay, but you didn't ever come up as like a... No, Sorry. no, no. Yeah, I just I was not cool then. I got uncool right after that, and then uh, they then they decided to have me back after you left. So maybe I got cool again after. Well, you I, you when I went cool. out, I said, "You let Philip get up here right now." <laughs> um, I met, but I didn't know that it was Philip. We were playing in a pickleball tournament together. I thought he was a pro pickleball player. That's how good a pickleball he is. Yeah. And I was like, "Hey, man, what?" Are... And so he was showing. We were just playing. He's like ripping them right. And so I asked somebody. I was like. Where do these people live? These pro pickleball players. Where does he live? And Dirks Bentley was like, "No, that's Philip Phillips, the singer." And I was like, <laughs> "Settle down, that guy. It'll all be." He's like, "Yeah." I was like, exactly. "Dang!" But like, when did you pick up pickleball? Uh, like four years ago. I like, I, I you know, COVID happened obviously, and then I had some time. I was luckily to be home to be with my son. We had just had a son. He's three and a half now, and so I was home with him every day. But also, you get to be home every day as a musician anyways, and my mind goes crazy, and I like to be doing something. And a friend of mine said, hey, come play pickleball. I said, what the heck is pickleball? And so I went, and there's all these old guys, and I was the youngest one, and and they were just killing me and hitting me with a ball. I said, what the heck? And I loved it. And so I fell in love with it. And then, yeah, it was just become this release, a different type of release for me. And, uh, yeah, just absolutely love it, man. How much? Yeah. How often do you play now? Um, I play as much as I can. If it's a, if I'm home, don't have anything much going on, it'll be between three to five times a week. I love it. He's so good. <laughs> that's a lot. I know. I thought bad. he was a my, professional. A, my wife and I had to have a talk one time. She was like, hey. You know, you gotta, you gotta chill. You play it at night, or whatever. You know, I was like, oh, okay. I'll Did you get whatever. obsessed? Are you obsessed? I'm pretty obsessed. Yeah, I, yeah. Do you have pickleball yeah. specific shoes? I do. I have all, yeah, I got all that <laughs> stuff, man. I'm such a dweeb, but yeah, I played. Yeah, I played some tournaments, and yeah, it's like you it's, played it's in tournaments. Thing. How'd you do? Uh, I've done, done all right. Yeah, I've done okay. Yeah, I haven't played in like a year because just been busy with this. Uh, yeah, finish career. New, new, yeah, this yeah, whole you got to make money. Yeah. And finish this album and everything. So I, I'd like to get into it at some point. But uh, yeah, man, just obsessed. And you, were, you were good too, man. You got to have some good strokes. I've played a very little. Played some, yeah. but you get there and you can see the. It's all the pros are a different level. It's the pros and Philip, and then everybody else. <laughs> it's kind of, and, I, and I went to Philip. I was like, how often do you play? Where do? Because you, you don't live in Nashville. I don't. Yeah, I live in South Georgia. That's where my wife and I are from. So yeah, like I said, we got a little boy. His name's Patch, and uh, yeah, we it's we live a little bit a little bit out in the country. And um, funny, like me and Luke Brian are from the same area. So he's like the king, and then I'm like maybe the queen or the you know something interesting. Like that. I like it. I'm uh, there. And he yeah. So we live out in the country, and so my boy he can just run around, be crazy, and run naked. And nobody's ever going to see us. And uh, and then I I don't do that. So don't try to find me. Uh, running around naked, but yeah, it's it's a nice, quiet town, and, and we like it a and lot. And there's enough pickleball there to stay competitive. There's enough. Yeah, we have some really talented players down there. Uh, David, yeah, all these guys, man. <laughs> just like, shout out David. Shout out David. Shout out David. Uh, uh, the Brian. Burkle. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he's he's awesome. And we, yeah, I'm just like I said, man. I just <laughs> obsessed with it. I don't I don't do anything else, and I'm okay at it. I like photography. I really like that. But that I'm not I'm not very interesting besides that. And I try to write music that is somewhat okay. Yeah. Have has pickleball ever influenced your songwriting? No, everyone's okay. like, you got to write a pickleball song. I'm not doing that unless somebody says, here's a lot of money to make a song, you know, so uh, <laughs> no. Your name, and now everybody just knows it because you've just been around for a while. You got wildly famous on American Idol and tour, but Philip Phillips, we forget that that name is <laughs> the same. Is yeah. that your real name? It's my real name. Yeah, people still stop me and say, is that your real name? I say, yeah, it's actually my dad's name, but he goes by a nickname, and then... Uh, because he hated the name growing up. And, uh, so, but then he gave it to story, you? True story. He told me this. He's like, you ever, and my dad used to fight a lot. He, was this, he has these big hands, just, you know, big guy. And, and uh, he said, uh, he said, you, you hate your name. People make fun of you. Make, make fun of you. I said, yeah, they make fun of me a little bit. I said, but it's not too crazy yet. He said, I hated it growing up. He wore glasses. You know, I fight all the time. I was like, so you decided to name your only son after the name you hated? And, and so that's, that's my real name. And uh, it was easy to write in cursive when I was in second grade because everyone else was struggling, but I just did it twice. It's just it hilarious. Philip Phillips, that's hilarious. Yeah. It's, uh, it's almost like a boy named Sue, like he named you that. 
And yeah. then now you got to get picked on. Then you get stronger because he named you that. And then yeah, here so you it's, go. It's a, that's a whack name. Not, yeah, but he wanted me to name my son that. I was like, I'm not doing that to the kid, man. He's like, <laughs> heck no. So, uh, yeah, went with a totally different name. Want him to have his own identity, you know. Let me say this about Philip, too, because I want you guys to go see him live because he's so good live, and you'll hear him play in just a second. But you can go to philipphillips.com. It's the Driftback 2023 tour, and a lot of the cities this show is in, he's there. D.C., in St. Louis, Des Moines, Nashville. I could keep going, but go to philipphillips.com and go. By the way, um, the Caitlin Smith song is really good. Oh, thank Caitlin's you. a good friend of mine. Oh, man, she's so talented. Yeah. What a, man, what a voice. Yeah, she's incredibly talented. I love that song uh, that I wrote, and she just. Yeah, she she really compliments it perfectly. Yeah, it's called Strangers, and, uh, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's really streaming. beautiful. And she just took it up to a different level, and so yeah, I love that. So I'm really really proud of this album, man. First album in five years, and uh, really represents the past five years. No pickleball, but uh, a lot of other feelings, you know. So this song, Eating a Pickle, is not about it's no, not that one. Yeah, that's a different that's kind of pickle. Yeah, 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 got it, got it. You know what I'm saying? I have a lot of questions for you, Mr. Philip Phillips. Mm -hmm. What what is it like to get famous real quick? Uh, I mean, it's pretty awesome. You get a lot of free stuff. You get some money, and uh, you go out to a restaurant, which is my favorite thing, and people will just bring you things to try. And I oh, love yeah. food so much. I mean, you know. It's that just, part's cool, and I'm going to tell you, I never even thought about that, but I get that too, and it's amazing. Oh, my gosh, But, like, uh, this is from the chef. He wants you to try this. Oh, I man, never thought about The chef will come that. out and just bring you <laughs> something. Yeah. The actual chef, and I'm like, please, can I just come sit at your table or whatever it is? I need to just keep bringing me food. And they'll I explain it in detail. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, sure, it tastes great. Just keep bringing it. I, that's a great so, answer. So, yeah, it's pretty me. cool to get famous. Uh, I would highly suggest it if you can do it in a natural, cool way. There you go, way. guys. He suggests yeah. it. He recommends it. But then there's people, but then you see all these young, younger people wanting to be famous, and I was like, what do you want to be famous for? You know, I just wanted to play music. I didn't care about being famous. I just wanted to, like, make music. And, uh, and, and you know, and then you see all these younger people. I'm, I'm just, I don't know. It's just a weird time for me to be alive. But it's a good time. Were you the kid that went into your room and just practiced, practiced, practiced? Oh, yeah. I didn't. I had, I still, like, I had, like, three or four best friends growing up. And uh, they all loved music. And one of them played guitar. So we he lived right down the road. And he had an amplifier and I always just I started off with the acoustic and I had an electric but then when I got the electric I had to go to his house to play through the amp and um and he's still one of my best friends to this day and uh we would just I, I, if I wasn't playing guitar with him I was playing at home I had this little karaoke machine that I would put CDs in or tapes and and figure out each note on a song or whatever it was just spend hours it didn't have a lot of friends and uh and yeah I was just kind of a weird Weirdo, I guess. Uh, very, yeah. Just Did you have guy. a favorite band or a favorite song that you would listen to all the time over and over again? I have to say what really inspired me uh, when I first started playing guitar, because I started playing guitar before I started singing, uh, was ACDC. I learned like every ACDC song you could think. I couldn't really play anything now. It's been so long. But uh, yeah, that uh, Angus Young was my first hero, and I would just try to learn every song. I would watch live tapes of them whatever it was and it then obviously it grew into so many other artists and then i got into songwriting and all that and um but that that was my first hero i got to see them live uh, your hero the, was the guitar player from acdc yeah angus young yeah yeah, yeah he but was, not the lead singer not brian johnson no or no not, I, I mean i, I love the whole band sure and just the group i mean the I mean, it's also such sim simplicity at its best kind of like tom petty and um you know, but that was, yeah, he was just, I loved it all. I just loved everything about what he did, how he drew, wore the, like the, you know, the boy little suit that mm. was a school suit or whatever. And I uh, just loved it all. I did the duck walk in my living room when I was a kid, all that just weird crap. And, uh, did your parents uh, have a ha influence on you liking like 70s and 80s rock? No, not really, man. That, so I, my mom played a lot in church. And so they were very, you know, pretty religious growing up. And then, uh, and she played the piano. My dad sang a little bit, but, uh, um, she was really the driving force, always playing the piano around the house. But I just got into music. My uncle, uh, Joey, he, he, he really inspired me to get into, like, I remember him introducing me to the Eagles and then all these, you know, 70s and, you know, 80s and, and, uh, and even from country to, to rock, whatever it was. And uh, he really pushed, he kind of inspired me to kind of listen to all these different types of music. Did you ever listen to Allman Brothers? 
Yeah, I got into them. Yeah, I mean, just such a, I mean, obviously not far from where and I live. Yeah, you know. and that's why I ask. You're from Georgia. Yeah, they're from the Lake Alma- area. So I was from all, I'm from all Benny in a way. Uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, you can't, can't not listen to them, you know. I mean, if they were here today, they would be like the greatest country group ever. Like, they're, I send Eddie harmonies from the Allman Brothers. I'm like, listen to this. It's live. Listen to these harmonies. These bro- so good. It's, there's guitar play. So man. good. Uh, Philip Phillips is here. I want to do something new, if you don't mind. Okay. You got the new record out. Yeah, dude. Um, so, and you got the tour. The, the album's Drift Back. Drift Back, yeah, yeah. And the tour is the Drift Back tour. tour yeah, I, there's yeah, something very creative. There's a theme there, yeah. <laughs> you know. Uh, so, you have this record. It's been <laughs> like a long time name. since you put out a full record. What's the deal? Yeah, just five years, man. Like I said, uh, I, you know, it was really hard for me to f- get the right, some right parts in my uh a career for like uh getting the right management to help steer that I, you know obviously i went through a lot of things um after idol and um and and so getting that part figured out and i really feel good about my management and all that and i've got i've always treated people like i want to be treated you know and and then writing a bunch man just writing a ton and then finally it just made sense finished these, these songs and these 10 songs really represent these past five years man the there's some sadness, there's some happiness, and uh, just hits all of the emotions, you know. In life, you get a little older, little. Th- I'm not old, I don't think. I don't consider myself old, but I'm just saying you go through a lot of things in life that are ups and downs, and and you, and for me, writing it out is how I deal with it, you know, and uh, and maybe a little bit of humor, but um, so yeah, I'm I'm just really proud of it. It might be really bad, it might suck. Uh, we'll be the judge. But, we'll tell you afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you judge. Yeah, you play yeah, the song. Yeah. We're gonna judge the whole thing. Performance, <laughs> yes, song. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. I have some questions from listeners here, and this is question number one. We have three of these. This is our first voicemail. Go ahead. Hey, I've got a question for Philip Phillips. I just want to know what his middle name is. Oh, please say Philip. Uh, it is uh, Philippe. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, I, I hate my middle name, uh, but it is Ladon. It's French, is what I say. Not the direction I was expecting. <laughs> what? But. Why? And what does it mean? Or? I have no idea. It's my dad's name, and uh, yeah, I, I just I just say it's French because it sounds cooler that way, and people seem more impressed. And I might be right, but y'all can like Google it. How and do you see spell it? L A capital D. Don't oh. forget that capital well, D, yeah, yeah, that yeah. big D O N. From Arkansas, it would be like okay. laid on. Yes, <laughs> laid on. I get that a lot. <laughs> laid on. That's Bobby laid on over there. <laughs> All right, here is question number two. Good morning, Bobby. Good morning, studio. I occasionally see Philip Phillips out with his family on Saturday mornings for breakfast at a local restaurant. And I've been so tempted to go up and ask him for a picture, and I've been scared to do that. I know he's with his family and he's eating, but I was wondering if you would just ask him um, how he feels about that and if that would be too awkward. If he doesn't want for that to happen, that's fine. I just would like to know. I have a rule that I talk about on this show. That if somebody's with their kids or if they're eating with food on their plate and they're famous, you don't bother them. Yeah, I, I, I definitely agree. The second one for sure. I, when I have a mouthful of food, yeah. it's like, come on. Uh, but uh, me and my kid, I do try to keep him separate. You know, we don't, I don't let him, I don't like put his face out there or anything like that. We're pretty private, but I'm a really friendly guy. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be rude to anybody. So come on up. I'll either be uh, super awkward like you're thinking and we can make it an awesome, awkward time, or I'll just be really nice. That I, and I usually am. I feel like I'm pretty nice. I think you're way nice too, but I would like to say if, it doesn't matter if it's Philip. If you see somebody famous and they're with their kid or they have food in front of them, that's a no go. Any other time, they know what they signed up for. Yeah. But, yeah, you I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, it's such a weird thing. It is. Yeah, and people. Yeah, I mean, because people feel so grateful. Yeah, people so feel like they're so uh, a part of your life, and it's uh, you know, and, and they are, and they are. That's amazing. You know, and and it is. It's such such a cool thing, and I'm very thankful for everybody. And uh, but yeah, sometimes there's moments where it's like you know, it's all right. You know, come on, you know. mashed potatoes or baby, yeah. don't come up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's one more. It's Molly from Gallatin, Tennessee. Want to let you know that I had a scam alert. I got an email from. Lab results wanting to inform me that they've received and reviewed my recent lab results and they'll be calling me shortly. Anyway, I wanted to know, Philip, Philip, have you ever been scammed by something? Let me know. Love the show. Uh, I, I, I did. Uh, I was. I, I did a show one time, and then I, 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 and then you get a contract, and that was something interesting. That so maybe that was partially a scam. You get a contract. 
<laughs> like without going into details. Uh, but yeah, I was, uh, it's, uh, yeah, I can't, yeah, I'm just trying to be funny, but it's, yeah, that's, uh, never mind. Did it just did not did, go did across a like, no, no, it's, uh, yeah, I, so I went through some legal stuff after American uh, Idol. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, so it's, uh, it. maybe that, but other than that, I feel like, uh, <laughs> I, 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 I try funny. to stay away from scams. That, that like, is, that yeah, is funny right. now, but we won't say anything else about it. You can Google that, <laughs> but just check out. Is is the I word a word though? Is that a thing? Do you so yeah? Uh, I, it, I love them. Yeah, everybody's great there. Mm-hmm. It's just everything else that's the connected, that's yeah. the connective tissue. after the show's over. That, that connective that tissue yeah. that comes with it. You know, uh, that's hilarious. But everything Scam came alert. out really good. Like I said, I always treat people how I want to be treated, and uh, you know, I think good things happen to good people, and then. Uh, Maybe the opposite happens to others sometimes, you know. It's an interesting every so often. <laughs> and what were we gonna say? Oh, I just was like this amount of stammering. I feel as though one legally is trying not to say something. Oh, for sure. But the, the, yeah. I needed to because I yeah, I had to clarify about. for yeah. him. Yeah, right. yeah. It, it's been a little while, so I couldn't think of any other other scams because I don't. I'm too afraid to do any like buy anything from. Why well, have this Nigerian like, guy that wants to get in touch with you? <laughs> okay, he, yeah. he owns a bank and he'd like to put some of his money in your just account. Send for him, a yeah, send him yeah, my yeah, cell phone yeah. number. That'd be great. <laughs> All right, Philip Phillips, the new record is out. I hope you guys check it out. It is called Drift Back, the tour. He's all over. Okay, which, why Drift Back, by the way? Why Drift Back? Yes. So it's, like I said, it's been five years, and then I had a lot of a lot of things going on, personal life, and uh, a lot of, just, yeah, a lot of like, tough things, situations, and a lot of amazing things. And, um, you know, so this, for me, it's been five years, and it's kind of just drifting back to music, and it had been so long, and drifting back to my fans, and, okay. and yeah, all these relationships. Is it going to tie in your favorite middle name to that? Okay. LaDawn, right? Okay, go ahead. Yes. LaDawn means More strong, like LaDawn. strong yeah. flow, like flowing into a river, and I feel like drift back like you're I in a flow that. back to... Yeah. So you should embrace wow. Philip LaDawn Phillips. I should have put you on the thank you notes on the mm-hmm. album. Wow, that's really I didn't know I didn't know that about my middle name. Uh, I, that's really cool. Uh, thank you for that information. You and now, maybe that you can now appreciate it. Oh yeah, I'll come over and give you a hug after this. That was really nice. Just be Ladon Phillips, your side <laughs> personality. Yeah, Ladon. You can play characters so, yeah, from yeah. Ladon. Yeah. yeah. Do you ever do Drift Away by Doby Gray? No. Oh, <laughs> you ever play that? That'd be a good one. <laughs> it's all drift stuff now. <laughs> All right, Philip Phillips. You guys check him out. Philip, mm-hmm. thank you for spending some time with us. Thank you for, very big, much. Man. Big fan. A uh, pickleball expert. Yeah, we'll hit some pickleball soon. No. Yes. No. You can pay me for lessons. Okay. Oh. <laughs> That's it. He's out of here. All right, there he is. Philip Phillips, everybody. Thank you. This is about the show.